Hey guys, um, here's our update for our uh, inverter XTH uh, 8000 watts, 48 volt. Um, this is DIY off grid solar. As you can see, we don't have power at the moment. I just finished uh, hook this thing up and our incubator is running on a small inverter outside so if you watch on our previous video so this is how I run my incubator so this is Nissan Leaf uh, electric car so I just running on our auxiliary and 300 watts um, inverter. Anyway, uh, we'll go inside and just showing it to you how I hooked up my 8,000 watts inverter. It's a bit too dark over here uh, because we don't have power. Let's turn on our flashlight. As you can see, I made a mistake here. I forgot to put this thing while I'll crimp the, the lugs and I upgrade the cable. And this is for our genset if we have at the moment there's none there. But this is the AC side. So goes up there. And let's see we open it up so you can see it clearly um, that's how I, I hooked it up so 48 volt and that's 220 volts AC so everything is up at the moment uh, as you can see here uh, I noticed there's a main switch here so this is the communication cable that link up to there and that goes to the display I'll just switch off this light so yeah let's fire it up and see how it goes and very important hooking up the inverter make sure uh, the polarity is correct so this is the plus and this is the minus so yeah that's uh, 8000 watts as you can see fit nicely I removed the old one by the way the old one is um, it's here it's still working I don't know if you can see it's sold. I'm just cleaning it up and then try to hook it up some other house. So here's the display. As you can see, it's off at the moment, so we don't have power. So let's fire it up. First thing you switch it on is this. This is the 200 amps um, circuit breaker. So let's turn it on. Nothing happened. And you just flick this uh, main switch. So it's off. There's a light indicator. And if you can hear the fan start kicking in and well let's go here to the display so it says uh, BSP battery temperature okay so that's okay um, anyway the battery is full the old setting will load up to this display and I will just communicate all together so you switch it on from here um, yes there you go we have power 230 volt and 
let's off this flashlight we can see here we're switching it on so that's the watts that's the voltage 232 volt I adjust um, this uh, normally to 230 but that's how it, it, it produces so let's on this voila we have power the aircon is try to switch it on and let's see how many watts are consuming this 40 watts uh, I think just the lights and other stuff standby on so it's working we switch on and then we switch on the solar charger controller that's how it works so it's 48 volt coming in here and that's 230 volts AC this is DC side and that's it so this it says error because um, we having switch on from here okay and then you go up to where is it here, viral track. So it's 57.1 volt. Let's switch it on. Yes. There you go. So I think there's no error now. Yes. And then the last, you switch on the PB side and see if it's charging. It says recognize it's night time because there's no voltage going into the solar charger controller. So it's blinking, it says charge and the relay you hear it's click. So it's about 10 amps and this is below 10 amps because it's blinking. So yep, that's it. How you fired up this um, off-grid solar DIY off-grid solar so it's a bit complicated it's got too many switches to switch it on and then you have to follow the procedure uh, same thing um, switching it off so this is live now it's 8000 watts let's say it's only 30 watts how about we do a test, uh, load test, um, charging my electric vehicle. Uh, try to, but we have to switch off this thing. I'll just post the camera. Okay, so I just remove our inverter so that's the inverter here and this is a charger for the electric let's say we put it on 16 amps just to try our inverter so I put this to 16 amps and see how much um, yes it's charging and we'll go inside see how much the electric charger for the car it's 3700 watts wow and you can see our meter it's spinning really fast and then we check the AC side amps 16 amps so we adjust to 16 amps it's drawing exactly the same so 230 volt and our inverter is doing fine so it's not hot I 
just try to measure this temperature here all the terminals becomes hot so inverters work mm -hmm. by the way thanks for watching and I hope you like the video and don't forget to subscribe um, this is DIY off-grid solar uh, thank you very much